At this year's TT Isle of Man, we showcase the upcoming TT Isle of Man game to lucky members of the public, and to even some of this year's riders. Check out our interview with Ivan Linton and see what he thought of the game, and get a glimpse at some exclusive in-game footage. Uh, winning my first TT 2015, like it was, but when I started the Isle of Man, I never thought that I'd ever win a TT. When I started the Manx Grand Prix, I never thought I'd win a Manx. So to actually um, end up where we, we are now with two wins and obviously riding for a fantastic team and coming back to try and get the three. My favourite section of the course would be from Glen Helen to the 13th milestone, so just on the way into Kirk Michael. It's about a four mile section. Um, that I'm not particularly strong through it, but it's just nice, fast and flowing and it's a, it's a nice section of the course to ride. The TT is the only time trial we do, everywhere else we start is mass start, so um, I certainly like riding on my own and it's a challenge between obviously you and the stopwatch, you and the other competitors, but then you and the track because you are on your own. Um, it's just you, you're trying to string that perfect lap together for, and, and then in a super race you've got to do it for six laps, so it's a long endurance race. It's just the fact that you can never get a perfect lap, like, because there's so many parameters involved in just even doing a lap, um, the over 200 corners and then different bikes, different conditions, such as today we've had a really, really windy day, so that plays into gear ratios and stuff. So that's part of the challenge is trying to get the perfect setup, which you in theory will never get because of the, such a long course. But that is the challenge for the team, that was a challenge for me, and that's what brings you back year after year. Panic, that you're about to delve into madness, aren't you? Because you know certainly when the first bike goes away, then 10 seconds, 20 seconds later, you're going as well, whether you're really ready or not. So you've just got to shut your visor down, have a little moment with yourself and then go. Um, just the realism of it. I, I always found previously that bike racing games are quite difficult, but you get it on a, the bike view is the, bike, the, the one that I like the most. And then you can see a little bit more and obviously knowing the course so well, I do actually know where I'm going and what's coming up and when to brake and it's very realistic with speeds and what gear you're in, it's very similar to how we are on a bike. Oh yeah, yeah, anybody who wanted to learn the course and anybody who just wanted a thorough bike game of the best circuit in the world to go out and buy this game.